Welcome back to my channel. I am your host, Angela, and today we're talking about the third stimulus check update. I know I'm supposed to go over what's in this stimulus package. We're going about that paragraph by paragraph, item by item, but I wanted to take a break from that and we're going to dive into the presidential town halls town hall meeting last night on CNN. I watched it. I hope you all watched it. And I just want to break down some things that I thought was interesting. I want to break down kind of what I thought about some of the things that was said. So just get into the video with me. Okay, the first thing I wanted to bring up was he talked about schools. President Biden said, uh, in order to open the schools back effectively, we would need to first vaccinate the teachers. I definitely agree with that. He talked about sending kids that are like kindergarten through eighth grade first, not everybody all at once, because we know that like 9, 10, 11, 12 graders, they tend to be more sociable. They tend to have more gatherings. They tend to have more dances and kind of in all in each other's faces, whereas you can have more control over a kindergarten Kind of through a grade, you kind of can have control over them. And another thing he brought up that um, he will have less students in classrooms. I thought that was a good thing. If you are you know that it's normally, what, 20 and sometimes even more than that, 20 to 25 kids in the classroom. We understand that it can't be that now. It has to be, probably has to be like 10 15 or maybe even less maybe 10 to 12 students so i thought that was a good thing and most schools are like older schools and they talked about having a better ventilating system you know so the air can flow more freely uh, what else was talked about he talked about the vaccination he said he plans to um vaccinate the most people that was vulnerable i think somebody stood up and said that um a mother stood up and was talking about that her child had a uh, precondition already and it was hard for her to get her son vaccinated. And he, he talked about being able to um, get the people that had preconditions already in a vulnerable state already. But he did say a lot of that was left up to the state. But as far as her case, and he, he did mention that he would talk to her after the town hall meeting. Uh, his plan is to have 600 million vaccinations by July. We shall see. We shall see. I said 600. 600 million vaccinated by July. That's what he said. Okay. Uh, he also talked about the pharmacies, having the pharmacies stocked up. Most of us do live between five miles to 10 miles within a pharmacy. And if the pharmacy can have on hand, just like the flu shots, just like the flu shots, you can go to any CVS, any Walmart, any Walgreen and get a flu shot. They want to be able to have those vaccinations just like that in pharmacies and he even spoke about mobile vans i thought that was a good thing mobile vans where they would go into the community special especially like um like bad neighborhoods or impoverished neighborhoods would go into those neighborhoods and give those vaccinations like right there hey you come you come to the truck you get your vaccination come to the van get your get vaccinated i thought that was a really good idea uh, when were kids, somebody asked, uh, and I'm, I'm going down because I'm thinking about the questions and I did write, write some down. He said, when would the children be able to get vaccinated? He said it is hardly unlikely from the study for a small children to get COVID. That's not really on their to-do list now. And they're also thinking about, you got to make sure that it even goes with like a child system. Um, make sure that the kids can handle the vaccination. So it, they're not in a rush just to give it to kids right now. Somebody asked, when will the country get back to normal? I know, and this is why, this is why I sometimes um, be looking at the news like, did you 
he didn't say that because sometimes they keep saying that he said in December, but he said December of next year, December 2020. That is, that is his hope. He did not say December of this year. And come on, listen. He did not say that. He said December of 2020, we hope. He said, I'm not making any promises, but I hope that um, that we'll be able to get to some sense of normalcy, some sense of being out of the woods, some sense of not having to wear the mask as much, some sense of most people will already be vaccinated and kind of immune to this virus. December 2022. Um, what's up for nego up for negotiation uh, of the one point nine trillion dollar stimulus uh, package? It is the fifteen dollars an hour. He did say that is up for negotiation. We understand that a lot of people cannot um cannot pay that right now. A lot of businesses, and I think he said the same thing I said. Meet in the middle, eleven twelve dollars an hour. It doesn't have to be that fifteen. Well he did say that was up to negotiation because of this uh being able for small businesses to be able to survive. But the we all we know that the fourteen dollar stimulus check, fourteen hundred stimulus check is not up for negotiation. The last thing I want to hit on, somebody asks, um, do he think do we think that our country is divided? President Biden said it's not it's not as divided as we trying to make it seem. Most people try to be as decent as they can. Most people try to be respectful as I can as they can it really do boil down to how you were raised like if you want to be divided you will be divided if you don't want to be a decent person you just don't want to be a decent decent person if you don't want to show another race another gender an, another religion another culture respect and then you just won't do that so i think it's more an individual thing as far as you have your own you're your own person you decide if you want to be divided with the Democrats. You decide if you want to be divided with the whites or the blacks. You decide if you want to be divided with the, uh, the Baptists or the Muslim. You decide. We decide. It's, it's, it's not as divided as we think. It's, it's what we coming out of our mouth and our actions is making it more divided. But now we do have an administration that I believe that is... Um, building up this thing of unity and building up this thing of peace. And it, you either choose peace or you don't. You either to, choose unity or you don't. And if not, you just be left aside. So I want to I want to break down um, what I took away from the town hall meeting last night. What are your thoughts about everything that uh, I took away, all the, the things that I took away from what was said and something interesting, they talked about a lot of things, but those were the main things that I wanted to um, share and I wanted to get your opinion on. Uh, let me get into a comment. Yeah. I forgot I had a, a comment for you all. Let me give you a comment. Okay. My comment of the day is from Mad Money Millennial. And he had a lot to say on my last video, the third stimulus check and about the rent rental extensions. He said, great video, Angela. My opinion is that the 1400 stimulus checks, the PPP, and the COVID relief programs like vaccine, uh, vaccine distribution, distribution will be the first measures to be implemented. The minimum wage hike and the student loan forgiveness will probably be postponed. I agree with all. I would agree with that too, as those will have the most massive impact on the U.S. economy. Hoping the best happens for everyone. Uh, yeah, and this is from Mad Money Millennial. He said the fourteen hundred dollars stimulus checks is a definite goal. The PPP that's a definite goal because we are already doing that. The COVID relief programs like the vast uh, the vaccine distribution, all of that is going to be uh, implemented first. We un we already know that the we don't, the stimulus uh, the student loan that's going to be debatable. The fifteen dollars an hour 
that's going to be debatable. Thank you so much, Mad Money Millennial, for your comment. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share this video. And let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Have a good day.